Hello everyone, welcome once again in Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to create a area chart in Java FX with the help of FXML. First, we will understand about area chart. Area chart presents data as a series of points connected by a straight lines. However, the area between the axis and the line is painted with a color. And suppose you guys are adding two series or more series in this area chart, then all these series will be painted with different colors. So guys, I have prepared the area chart and I want to show you the screenshot of that area chart. So you will get the idea about the area chart data presentation. So let's check this uh, example of area chart. I'm going to open an image. Here we go. You can see on your screen, this is the area chart example. Right now, this area chart representing temperature data, which is captured for two months. On the Y axis, we have the number axis showing the degree Celsius data. On the X axis, we are representing the number of days. Starting from 1 to 31. Now I'm going back on the notepad and I will tell you a little bit about the task that we are going to perform. So we are going to create an area chart that will display a temperature data which is captured on different days in a month July and August. So we are going to create two axes chart x and y axis and we will do more things i will explain you everything in detail and uh, here in front of you i have noted down all the steps that we are going to perform so i will explain you these steps first and i will perform so in the first step we will create an fxml project after that we will open the FXML and the scene builder and I will do some necessary changes to meet our requirement to display temperature data. In the step 3, we will create two data series which are going to show temperatures for the days in months July and August. So I have prepared these two series already. In the step 4, we are simply adding this data series in area chart. In the step 5, we will simply take a clean build and we will perform a test run. So guys, these are the 5 steps and we are going to start practical from the step 1. Here we go with the NetBeans. So this is my NetBeans 8.0 and now go to the file and then click on the new project and on the right hand side select the option FXML application, click next. Here in the project name, you have to give the name. So this is our area chart project. So I have added area chart and leaving the rest of the things as it is. Now clicking on the finish. And after 2-3 seconds, your project will be ready on the left hand side in the project explorer tab. As you can see, we have FXML, we have controller, also we have a main class. Now I am opening the FXML. And we will do some arrangement for the area chart. So guys, if you have a scene builder, please open this FXML with scene builder. Now on the scene builder, you will see there are some default controls present on the anchor pan. So first I'm going to delete it. Now I will expand this anchor pan and uh, I will add two labels one for the title and the second for the chart title and uh, in the library we have to type the area chart so we will get this area chart control so just drag and drop this control here on this anchor pan and now you have to adjust the size so this area chart is little big so i have expanded the anchor pan and I, and after that i have added this here so I will 
do some small changes here in the properties so I want to display the data so I'm mentioning that so this will be clear for you this is July and August temperature data if you want to change the font you can uh, come here in this font properties and uh, just expand the font size or uh, you can set the font style as well so I am putting the font style bold and this is my first label so this is the JavaFX area chart so I have just added this label here I'm explaining all these stuffs because of keeping one point in mind that if any absolute beginner is looking for a solution to create area chart so he can easily perform all these steps. So guys once you expand this area chart you will find two axis category axis which is the x axis but this is a string and y axis is number axis which is good for us but in our case we need the x axis as a number axis now we have to change it now i will show you how you can convert your category axis to a number axis to do that minimize the fxml and go to your project open your fxml in edit mode scroll down and look for this tag area chart once you come inside you will see there are two axes first is x axis which is category axis tag now I have changed it to number axis saved this file ok guys now go back your scene builder do nothing and simply close it if you see on on the x axis you will find that is showing the numbers but I am not saving this file I will open this fxml again for the proper loading of the fxml now the fxml is successfully loaded there is no error after changing this to number axis from category axis as you can see on the x axis we have the numbers but I want to display the number of days like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 up to 31 so guys we have to do some changes here in the properties so look at here this is the upper bound I am going to set this upper bound to 31 now this will represent the 31st day of a month and now I will change the tick label gap to 1 and then I will change here tick unit to 1 and now just scroll above and uh, look for the properties auto ranging so untick this option once you untick this option you will see the right format of numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 up to 31 now the number of days reflected properly on the x-axis which we were looking for i hope you guys clear on this now this area chart fxml is in right shape we can save it the last thing we have to do select the area chart and come here in the code section expand this you will find this fx id element and here you have to assign a fx id to your area chart so i am simply giving like this my area chart now the fx id is my area chart for this chart that's it save this file okay minimized now come to the fxml controller as usual we want to use the object of the area chart so we have to declare one reference variable as fx id so this is the area chart and here my area chart is the fx id so we need to import the class area chart which is not present here press alt enter and add the class now the error is gone we are going forward and uh, 
you can see we have a we have handle button action method which is not required now going back here in the notepad you can see step one is complete now on the step two we already have done the changes in the fxml now we are going to perform the step three now we need to create two data series which will display the temp captured temperature for two months as you can see on my notepad here i have already prepared this series data so i am copying from that place and pasting here here we go now at this place i will explain you what we have done so to create a series we need xy chart class or this way we will create by using new keyword new xy chart dot series so for each month i have to create a series i want to display the data for two months so i have to create the two series you can see we need one import xy chart class now the error has gone and guys uh, at line number 40 you can see we are calling the set name method to set a name for that series which will be displayed on the legends now focus on the line number 41 we are simply using the series object and calling the get data method then calling again the new method add okay so here what we are doing we are simply going to create the data class object okay in the data class we have to pass two arguments which are numbers first is x value second is y value that simple first one is x which is representing the number of day and the second is the temperature this is the y axis value for any chart you, for any x y axis chart you have to perform this thing for this area chart so we have created the some more data points for day third day sixth day ninth day 12th day 15th and so on now coming on the downside there's another series which is for the next month august and we have created the data points in the same way with the help of get data dot add method and then here we are creating the data object by passing two arguments first one is for the x-axis and the second one is the y-axis value so guys we are ready to perform the step four now we need to add these two series inside the chart so simply we have to write a simple line of code this is the reference object now we have to call get data method then we have to call add all add all means you want to put two different or more series if you have a single series you can use a simple add method as well but in our case we have two series so we need add all method so this way you can pass these two series which we have created earlier so guys this is done and we are good to go now i have saved this file and now i'm going to take the clean build of this project which is our step five and we will perform a test run as well here we go for the clean build okay we got the message build is successful now and it's time to run here we go oh, we got this stage and you can see in front of you we got the area chart for the temperature data on the x-axis this is showing the number of days 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 31 for two months this is the data points for the july month and uh, on the top of that you can see the data point for the august month on the y-axis we are getting this decimal data we also adjust this as an even number I will show you this thing as well in my next tutorial session and guys I would suggest please try to 
do some more experiment with this and uh, do some more hands on i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel for now thanks for watching cool it help